Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and Happy New Year, everybody. A religious mass was held at the Mary Cathedral for the Greek Orthodox Church in Damascus today on the occasion of the New Year, according to the Christian calendar. It was headed by Patriarch Yohanna, the 10th Yazji of Antioch and or the Orient for the Greek Orthodox. The Patriarch affirmed that the political solution and acceptance of the other represent the only way out of the crisis in Syria. Patriarch Johanna X of Antioch and all the Orient for the Greek Orthodox Church today headed a religious mass with the cooperation of a number of priests at the Mary Cathedral for the Greek Orthodox Church on the occasion of the Christian New Year. In his sermon, the Patriarch affirmed the need to safeguard the spirit of coexistence and fraternity among all the Syrians. The Patriarch called for resorting to political and peaceful means to find a solution to the crisis in Syria. He prayed to God Almighty to liberate the kidnapped and return them safe to their relatives. He also prayed to God Almighty to establish peace in Syria, Lebanon, Palestine, Iraq and Egypt and everywhere on earth. The Syrian American Forum has held a popular symposium in the city of Los Angeles in the state of California in the USA with the participation of Syria's permanent representative to the UN, Dr. Bashar Jafari, and from Damascus via Skype, the Mufti of the Republic, Dr. Ahmed Badruddin Hassoun, and the Patriarchal General Deputy for the Greek Orthodox Church in Syria, Patriarch Luq al Khouri. The Syrian American Forum held another symposium in the American state of Michigan, during which love and deep affection for Syria was unanimously expressed by the participants. The Syrian Arab army has pursued a terrorist group and eliminated some of its members north of Al Muthalathiyah in Salah al-Din neighborhood, destroying terrorist vehicles in Dahrit Abd Rabbu and Haddadin. The Syrian Arab army also foiled an attempt by terrorists to infiltrate into Al Iskan neighborhood and another in the direction of Al Aziza village in Aleppo countryside. In Hama countryside, the Syrian Arab army also eliminated a terrorist group west of Morak. In Homs, the Syrian Arab army has targeted terrorist gatherings and snipers in Babhud, Al Qusur, Al Dar Al Kabira, Al Khalidiya, and Al Ghasibiya. The army intercepted an infiltration attempt by terrorists into Um Sahrij village in the direction of Jubb Jarrah. Syrian Arab army units also eliminated a number of Jabhat al Nusra terrorists in Al Hawara and Uyun in Al Qusir suburbs and killed a group of armed men in Muthalath and Nuaymen. In Dar'a suburbs, the Syrian Arab army intercepted an attempt by a terrorist group to attack a military checkpoint in Rajm al-Mashhur, eliminating several members of the group. Syrian citizens in the village of Mas'ada in occupied Golan held a sit-in to protest against the Israeli policy of confiscating tens of dunams of the village's farm land. The participants erected a tent on Mas'ada Awqaf land, vowing to continue until they restore their confiscated land, which is 189 dunams. The residents raised Syrian flags, expressing determination to preserve their Arab Syrian identity and offer sacrifices to liberate the occupied land. As the world was celebrating the New Year, Israeli occupation troops broke into Palestinian towns and villages and arrested a number of Palestinians, as many others suffered from suffocation cases because tear gas used by Israeli soldiers in their Abu Daif, Izdav Jenin. 
Meanwhile, Israel occupation is planning to construct a nine-story building in Sheikh Jarrah area in the city. Palestinian National Party is warned, meanwhile, against the Zionist excavations near Al-Quds Castle, which seek to distort the Islamic and Arab identity of the town. In response to the claims by the embassy of the Israeli entity in Italy of including the city of Bethlehem, the birthplace of Jesus Christ, in the list of the Israeli cities of tourism, head of the Archbishops of Sebastian for the Greek Orthodox, who is also a member of the Islamic Christian Commission for the support of Jerusalem and the Holy Sites, Bishop Atallah Hanna, asserted that the city of Bethlehem will remain an Arab-Palestinian city that is featured by the Christian characteristics because it is home to the most important Christian monument worldwide, which is the Church of the Nativity, as well as the Church of the Resurrection in Jerusalem, in addition to other important religious features and sites. Bishop Hanna explained that the claims of the Israeli embassy is part of the acts of distortion of facts and history, in addition to stealing of land, which was and will always remain Palestinian. Bishop Hanna added that the celebrations of Christmas and the New Year remain incomplete, particularly in occupied Palestine and the birthplace of Jesus Christ, Bethlehem, as long as the Israeli occupation continues. In Iraq, Iraqi army was able to have full control on the cities of Al-Ramadi and Fallujah following fierce clashes with terrorists who used car bombs and ambushes to destroy the stability of the two cities. Meanwhile, Al-Ambar police announced the arrest of 37 terrorists and 23 fugitives in Al-Ambar desert. In the area of Az-Zaydan in Fallujah, Iraqi police confiscated a warehouse full of weapons and ammunition including rockets and RPG launchers. The repercussions of the corruption scandal that threatened the government of the Justice and Development Party headed by Erdogan has reflected itself in the campaign of dismissals among police commanders covering director of the intelligence branch at Mersin Police Command Ali Ihsan. The Turkish angry public opinion took advantage of the New Year celebrations to escalate the pace of protest in major Turkish cities, calling for Erdogan's resignation to get rid of the corruption that has caused deep social and economic crisis to the country. Rejection of Erdogan's policy is further escalated following reports in the Turkish Yort Daily about his relationship with terrorist Yasin al-Qadi, the funder of al-Qaeda organization. Qadi's investigation file includes the names of the companies established with the common partnership of Erdogan's son Bilal and terrorist Yasin al-Qadi, in addition to photos and videos proving al-Qadi's use of a presidential car. Russian President Vladimir Putin spoke from the city of Volgograd, saying that there is no justification for committing crimes against civilians, especially women and children. Putin pointed out that the despicable crimes committed in the city were so heinous, whatever the motives of criminals were. Putin's remarks came during a meeting with senior Russian officials in Volgograd, where he requested clarifications on combating terrorism in Russia. Putin also held a closed-door meeting with the head of the Federal Security Service and the Interior Minister to discuss additional measures taken to fight terrorism. Finally, and in our local news, at Dar al-Assad Opera House in Damascus, a cultural activity was held under the title Keep the War Away from Us, with the participation of the Minister of Education and a number of religious and political figures. <laughs> First, uh, we need to touch their needs and uh, starting from our uh, connection with the society and with our children, uh, with our kids, uh, how they suffer from the situation, from the crisis, from, from the war. Uh, they really need to be protected and uh, to someone listen to them. كنت فوق بالصف وقت نزل الهاون ونحن كتير شفناه كنت كتير خايفة بس صار الشيء 
طول الوقت يعني صرنا انه نزلنا لتحت وخفت كمان يلي عم بيضربونا انا اتذكر انه انتم عم تضربوا اخواتكم من اسبوع تقريبا استشهد بطريق حرس طاقم السوق يعني نحن بس بنطلب انه بس يعني هدوا شوي لا يدمرونا بلدنا نحن ما عملنا شيء اور هوم لاند واز نمبر فور رانت فور هير فور هير peaceful living that's why our god we thanked and then what has become of us from the four corners of the earth bringing in their weak legacy a half million children are left without school so it's we have two aims in this initiative the first is how we can put all in contact to make this network between the society and the state Uh, what's the responsibility of all parts together, how we can work together uh, to protect ourselves, to protect our state, to protect the civilians, the society, and also to improve uh, the role of the state. And on the, level, the, the second stage is uh, what we need from the foreign uh, countries, uh, what is our message to them, Uh, what the what we really need as a Syrian society, as a Syrian children, uh, where is the right of our children? Who can give us the right just to leave today? Because all rights today, it's became secondary. The first, our priority is the right to leave. So this is the message that we need to forward it to the. Uh, international community. this way end our news for today thank you for watching for more details about syria and the region and to view this bulletin again you can always visit our website in english syriaonline.soi now to latest business and market news with vani genjan but after a short break